you know, a disappointing night the other night. Um, we didn't play well um, in many aspects of our game. We certainly didn't play how we train, and there was no relationship in how we work and how we have been to the game the other night. So, uh, but once again, we talk about it this morning. We learn from it and uh, and we move on. And and the players are ready to, uh, as I said, to, to get in a good performance. So. Um, it was just a strange one. We didn't start as bright with any intensity as what we had done in the last few games and um, got punished for it with an early goal. So we're chasing the game then, but we come back into it after 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then for some unknown reason, we, we switch off, we make mistakes actually after the 45 minutes and a crazy sort of two minute spell leaves mm -hmm. you 3-1 down. So we've then got to chase the game. You know, I change it to bring on an extra striker and Hal, yeah. and then we change it then after 15 minutes again to go three at the back to try and go for the game. We get to three two. Looks like we could maybe get something from it, uh, and then obviously they get the uh, they get the fourth goal. So, um, so now disappointing, but we uh, we have to look on. Any changes likely or whatever? Any players coming back? Uh, yeah, Gilfie involved maybe. On, uh, yeah, well, well Gilfie had you know. Uh, I said it after the game and, and, and before the game to, to him, you know, he's he's a young player and you know, we've got a lot of young players and I need to you know, I have to be very mindful of that because you know, this is a very, very long hard season and I've had experience even in the short time as a manager with playing young players last year, players that I know that have got great stamina and great energy but can blow a gasket, mm. <laughs> you know, come March, February, March time. So it's important that we just uh you know, we make sure that they are uh, they have enough recovery and they can play to the optimum level every game. So, uh, so he's done terrific. Kelfi, he's played more than what he than what he thought he was maybe going to play. Mm. So he'll come back into the reckoning. So, uh, but it was only less than five six days ago we had a terrific performance up at Sheffield. You know, so you can't discard players easily but there's no doubt it was it was disappointing from us and we've got to get over that and get a positive result I mean you said there'd be ups and downs throughout the season basically didn't you you know with because there's been so many changes and so many players are left and it's a new team and all that didn't you, you know, yeah I think that I, I've got to be honest have a look at it now we can either win a game lose a game or draw a game and I don't think we're at the stage where you know we haven't had any momentum mm. and uh and listen, we can go through every reason under the sun for that. The players that have left, no money, you know, all that sort of stuff. But I'm not one to make excuses. You know, I can, we can sit and talk for two hours about yeah. why we're not, you know, why it hasn't kicked on so quickly, you know, and, it, and it's very, very simple. But the reality is that we have to work with what we've got, you know, and the good lads here and they want to learn and they want to do better. And of course we'll progress in the forthcoming seasons, you know, uh, and that'll have to be done with limited funds. But it's the case of at the moment, you know, we just have to try and find that wee bit of momentum, make sure, I think the lesson for us the other night is that when we play well at home is when we pass the ball, you know, and we're nice and positive with the ball. The other night we, we didn't make anywhere near the number of passes that we normally do, and, and we see the result because if we just go into a game where it's about kicking the ball up the pitch and like Crystal Palace were, they were long and direct and if we do that, they'll win because we don't train like that we don't train like that, we train in a different way that's got us some really good results you know, so we have to continue with that and find the consistency in that that allows us to progress, you know As brave players you said, isn't it? You want players to be brave Perhaps a bit braver at home. And yes, absolutely. Yeah, I, I said when I came into here, I love players who want the ball. Mm. Whether you're a defender, goalkeeper, centre forward, wide player, midfield player, you have to love to want the ball. And and I feel that that's one of the key things at home. Teams will sit off us, so they want us to, you know. So we have to have. We have a responsibility. Our game will be different at, away from home mm. than what it is at home. So we have to take more responsibility at home. And I know because there's still a large part of the squad here from before, then they played a certain way, you know, and that takes time to yeah. come out of that way. But what it needs is it needs you need to have obviously confidence, but you also need to take responsibility. And uh, and I've got no doubt, you know, as I said, it's it's find the consistency in that because when we do it, we do it well.
Has uh, Simon Church left you? Is he going to be in contention? Or is he? His back's freed up a hell of a lot in the last couple of days, so we're hoping that uh, you know, come tomorrow he was jogging and doing bits and bobs. So you know, we'll have to see how he is. But certainly, if he's not for the weekend, he'd be definitely you know, 100% for the following weekend. Cool. And um, have you think about any other selections? I mean, people have been talking about possibly bringing in Chris Armstrong or Sean Cummings back in at right back. Uh, is that something you thought of? Or? Well, th as a manager, there's many things that yeah. go around in your mind. Um, I've got to say that the young Tabby's been outstanding in his role. You know, he's filling in in this moment, and uh, I thought he's done well. He was playing against a very, very good young player the other night that I know everything about, you know, and uh, so it's something that, you know, I have to respect that he's done a good job. For us, Tabby, and uh, and no, he he will start. He will start on Saturday, and because he's done really well, he's a good guy. You know, Sean's been doing great. Sean's getting up to what I've known him. You know, for when he was at Chelsea and when he went away. So, uh, so we know that when the time is right for him to come in, that he'll be in he'll be in good form. And Chrissy Armstrong is, you know, is working really really hard and and working well. Um, so it's difficult to to disregard Ryan Burton who's been outstanding mm. since he's come here and as a young player again at 20 years of age he's going to have the odd game or so where he, you know he wasn't at his best the other night but tactically I needed to change the game and to go to the three mm. at the back Moses was playing on the other side Victor uh, was playing against Tabby so the natural one to bring is off your left back you know so uh, so that was the, the, for the change the other night what was it with Sean Cummings? I mean, is it a confidence thing? Is it still, or was it? I think. No, I think now we we Sean, yeah, oh. yeah, adjusting to new club. You know, he's had four clubs in a season. Mm -hmm. You know, that's been his fourth one. You know, so, and again, twenty years of age. You know, he was one that I was bringing in not only just for now but for the future. You know, and in that little period that he, you know, he needed to come out of the team, but he's shown the response that I know what he can and. Has been excellent. So, uh, no. But when he's asked upon, um, he will uh, he will come in and do well. So, uh, but no, you go go easy on me. You're trying to make me make changes. You <laughs> didn't, you didn't want changes a few months ago. <laughs> well, so, I was uh, next to Andy Williams, and obviously he's. Uh, Oh, he's yeah, the expert. In the making, so oh, is he right? Okay. We're both, we're both discussing our teams then. Putting on the team, okay. Yeah. So, there we go. But uh, come January, are you having as good a tour of Alston as you going to be joining now? Online? Yeah, well, that looks near enough as if that'll be complete, you know. So, um, and, and he'll be a good signing for us. He's done very well in the 10 days he was here, scored goals, and he's he was a link striker with good experience, you know. Um, plays with good intensity and, and technically strong. and no, he looked good when he was here, and obviously the reports from the people that have worked with him is, is you know, he's, he's highly recommended. So, that's his chance in English football. So, he'll come in and come in with a good motivation to, to do well. Um, Baptism of fire against Liverpool, perhaps? Has that been your thought, or is that to... Uh, no, that's <laughs> not even thinking about Liverpool. To be honest, that, I've got absolutely. Yeah, that's so right. Yeah, 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 that's would, right. Would it be a loan as opposed to a signing? It would be a loan with a possibility right, yeah, to. Yeah. To buy, you know, and then I will look at, you know, we'll look at one or two other things for, you know, for for January as well. So, um, you some big clubs, didn't you? Uh, big, big German clubs. Yeah, yeah. Now I went to. I'm not as highly rated. Yeah, you know, I spoke to. Um, I spoke to a number of people. Obviously, the, the people here have got good, uh, you know, regards for them as well. And the people I know in Europe I spoke highly of them. It's just sometimes one of them ones where when you come off. You have a couple of seasons where it doesn't quite work out for yeah. you, and uh, but no, he came over. He's had good respect. He, he, he fit it in perfectly into the group. He was hard working. He knows half the. Uh, he knows half the squad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah, so so no, he was he, he was fine. So he will be an addition because there's no doubt that if we're going to progress, we need to have more attacking options higher up the field. You know.